Are you trying to catch a fly with chopsticks blindfolded? What does it look like I'm doing? Wouldn't a fly swatter be easier? It is said one who captures a fly with chopsticks can do anything. Really? Yeah. Can I try? Uh, <laughs> sure. All right. Mm. Focus. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was easier. Yeah. Welcome to the So and So Show in 3D World! Whoa! 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 Yeah! I'm Brandon! And I'm John, and it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's shake hands! Whoa! Whoa! Amazing ride! It's like you're practically here in the room with us! Yeah, so you can join us in this Nerf fight! Yes! Woo! Boom! Boom. Oh, mine doesn't work very mine well. Mine either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh! I don't know the trick. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I hope we didn't hit anyone. <laughs> you all can thank John for making this possible. He's the one that sent you the 3D glasses that you're wearing right now. Nerf fight again! Boom! 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 <laughs> what happened? Are you out of... Are you out of No, uh, nothing, cards? nothing. It's nothing. It's, it's just nothing. Oh, it's clearly something. No, no, it's just that you, uh, you know how I said I'd send 3D glasses to everyone who watches the show? Yes. I did not do that! Nerf fight! Hey! John! John! John, stop it! Stop! Okay. Look, if, if they're not wearing the glasses, then it's not in 3D, and we're just throwing stuff at the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. I knew I should have asked Ron to send out the glasses. Well, it's just that I was busy buying the ping pong balls and the Nerf darts and I just, wait, 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 Ron? Who's Ron? He's a new friend of mine. Anyway, today on our apparently two-dimensional version of the no, show. No, no, wait, 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 wait. New friend. What? You new friend? You said you had a new friend. Like who? Yeah. I mean with, I mean, is there, oh, who's Ron? It's, he's just a guy that I met. You. You'd like him, actually. <laughs> you would. I mean, you guys are into a lot of the same things. You comic books, soccer, air drumming, food. I do like food. Yeah. But I don't think I like this Ron fellow. I mean, what kind of name is Ron anyway, right? It's three letters. What's it short for? Rondiculous? <laughs> Ronald, I think. <laughs> That's Rondiculous. Look, I'm telling you, you'd like him. He, he, he even overreacts to little things like you do. Overreacts? How dare you? <laughs> that hurts, man. That really hurts. Uh-huh. So maybe if you just got to know Ron, you would feel differently. I could introduce you. Never. I don't like Ron. Mm -hmm. I don't. And I don't want to get to know him. Come on, I, I, mm. could, I could set up a meeting. It could be right here or, or at the comic book store down the street. I will not meet Ron here or there. Okay. I will not meet Ron anywhere. Would you meet Ron in a house? I would not meet Ron in a house. Would you meet Ron with a mouse? I would not meet Ron in a house. I would not meet Ron with a mouse. I will not meet Ron here or there. I will not meet Ron anywhere. How about in a box? Not in a box or with a fox or on a train or in a tree. I will not meet Ron, Brandon. Now please let me be. <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. Hey, listen, we're friends, right? Well, what, you, you and me or, or you and Ron? Me and you, we're friends. Yeah, I used to think so. Well, we know we are, and you trust me, right? I mean, I've never given you any reason not to trust me. No, I trust you. All right, good, then you can trust me when I say that Ron is a good guy and you would really like him, okay? What are you doing? I'm texting Ron and telling him to come over. No, yes, no, I am. I'm I'm no. I'm doing, it's done, it's done. Oh, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> He's coming over now. 
You're going to like Ron. Whatever. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, everybody. Who wants a slice of pizza? Reach out and take it. Oh, uh, we're not doing 3D anymore, Kellen. Oh. Why not? We forgot to send out the glasses. Bet Ron wouldn't have forgotten. Oh. Who's Ron? Brandon's new best friend who never makes mistakes and does everything right all the it's time. Not my new... Do you have a Bible story for us, Kellen? I do. It was gonna be in 3D with lots of computer graphics and lasers and special effects, and we spent this year's budget making it, but since no one has 3D glasses, let's do some human head puppet theater! Today's story is about Paul. Oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. What? No, not Paul Bunyan, Paul the Apostle. The Paul who used to put people who believed in Jesus in jail until he saw Jesus and became one of Jesus' followers. That Paul. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Carry on. When Paul became a believer in Jesus, he made it his mission to travel the world to tell people Jesus' story. That's why Paul was in Athens, Greece. Oh, I'm in Athens, Greece for the whole day. I don't cut trees down, but that's okay. What is this unusual statue? I ah! am Zeus, the god of thunder. See my lightning bolt? Shazam! <laughs> god of thunder? Is, is that a thing? Oh, sure, sure. Athens has all sorts of gods. Uh, god of music, goddess of love, a god of responsible dental hygiene. <laughs> We're everywhere! Shazam! But there's only one true God. I am very upset. Hey, don't insult me. Didn't I mention I got a lightning bolt? You're going down, mortal! Shazam! 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 It is true that Paul was upset when he saw all the statues built to honor other gods, but the statues, they didn't speak. They just kind of stood there. Aw, oh, man. Better. There are statues of gods everywhere. There's a god of woodworking, a god of the sea, and what's this? An altar? To an unknown god? I've got to talk to someone about this. Shazam! Shh. Sorry. Now, here's something that you should know about Athens when Paul was there around 2,000 years ago. Athens was full of smart thinkers and philosophers, but they weren't very familiar with the story of Jesus. So Paul had some work to do. Excuse me, mm -hmm. are you from Athens? Toga, 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 ah! <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I just wanted to say, Jesus has risen from the dead. Toga? You know they would have said more than just toga. It's the only Greek word I know. Ah, okay. The people were confused by what Paul was telling them, so they took him to a meeting of the Areopagus, where some of the brightest, most powerful people in Athens would talk about the latest ideas. People of Athens, I can see that you are very religious. I saw all the things you worship, even an altar to an unknown god. Toga, toga, toga. I'm going to tell you about this unknown God. Toga? He is the God who made the world and everything in it. He gives life to all people. Toga? Toga. It's true. You, you know how some of your poets have said, we are God's children? Toga. That's right, we are God's children. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't... We shouldn't think God is a statue made out of stone. God can raise a man from the dead. Hmm. The people of Athens listened. They liked to hear thoughts and ideas that challenged what they believed. But when they heard Paul talk about the dead being raised, well, some of them made fun of the idea. <laughs> Tuga! But some 
wanted to hear more. Toga. And some became followers of Jesus. Toga! No, wait, wait, wait. I thought of another word. Euro! The people of Athens may have never seen Jesus, but Paul was able to help them have faith in someone that they couldn't see. The end. Fun story, guys. Thanks for your help. Thank you, Kellen. Way better than that 3D story you had planned, right? Sure. Hey, Paul was awesome. He wanted anyone and everyone to know Jesus. Right, he knew that if people got to know Jesus, their lives would be changed forever. Yeah, and he always found different ways to share the good news of Jesus to different people. It was so important to him. Hey, thank you so much, Kellen. You're an awesome 2D storyteller. Good to know. See you guys next time. Hey, say, listen, about this whole Ron situation, I think I understand. Hold that thought. Uh, come in, Ron. I like him already. Reveal the question. How can you help others know Jesus? Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. We all know it's important for people to know who Jesus is and what he's done for us, so what are some ways you can help people know Jesus' story? Uh, you can tell them the story through Dr. Susie and Rhyme. That's hilarious. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. You could also invite someone to church. That's a good answer. Or you can tell them about the show. I was going to say the same thing. You were? Totally. Get out. That's ridiculous. Hey, you want to go out and get some food? You bet. I love food. All right. I'll meet you at a restaurant right after the show. You bet. Hey, Ron, you're my new best friend. You? I told you you'd like him. I would meet Ron with a mouse. Alrighty. Hey, thanks for tuning in, folks. This was the So and So Show. Bye. Hey, I'm coming, best friend. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I like I like food. <laughs> Right on your floor. Yeah. Oh, look how close that is. Yeah. Wow. How is this? <laughs> oh, this piece of paper looks. <laughs> look at that flat surface. Look at super flat. I'm not sure that's as interesting. Oh, write my novel <laughs> that I've always wanted to write. Uh, do you need that piece of paper back? It was the worst of times. <laughs> it was the worst of times.
guys, Mr. Mark and Mr. Steve, we are so excited to be here, and thanks for tuning in to Centerpoint Kids, and we are absolutely ha happy to be here. Exactly. We are excited. And in fact, let's take a quick look at our memory verse for July. It comes from Ephesians 2, verse 8. Say it with me. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It's God's gift. Now, Mr. Mark, we can do what Paul did. Really, we can lead others to love Jesus like we do. Now, the way that we can do that is we can show others by loving them because we know that God loves us. And when we do that, when we show others love and kindness, it'll make them understand that we're different from everybody else. And they may want just a little bit of what we have. And before you know it, they'll ask us a little bit about it, and they'll want to be like us, followers of Jesus. That's absolutely amazing. And you know, Mr. Steve, it might be easier than you think. All you have to do is be yourself mm -hmm. and just talk to your friends about Jesus, just like Paul did. Absolutely. And you can absolutely see all the love and tell them about how Jesus is in your life and how he does all the different things that make you unique. And it's amazing to see how different you will be when Christ and Jesus is in your life. Absolutely. And remember, it's just not telling them, but it's showing them how to do that. And you remember the golden rule, Mr. Steve. Absolutely. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And that's how we do it. And that's how we show Christ's love. Mm-hmm. Well, again, thanks for joining us today. But I don't want you to miss out on any more of the fun. Because guess what? We have another exciting summer family experience coming your way this Wednesday. I mean, you got to come in and join all the fun. It's simply on CP Kids' YouTube page. Come and join us next Wednesday for all the fun. Oh, one quick thing I forgot to mention. This week's focus word, talk. 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 Pretty cool. That's it. All right. Don't forget, we've got an incredible month for memory verses this week and this month. So this is what we're going to do. <clears throat> Once you learn your memory verse, you go out to the Centerpoint Kids Facebook page and you tape yourself. How cool would that be? Awesome. And then if you do it for every verse, because there's five. Five? Memory verses in July. Are you sure it's five? Five. Wow. And there's one for July. So how much does that make, Mr. Steve? Six. six. Can you believe it? And guess wow. what? Guess what you get? If you do all six. You get to, I don't know. Six collector buttons. No way. Oh, amazing. Unbelievable. Oh, man. And listen, one yeah. more thing. Yeah, if yeah. If you do all six, yeah. not only do you get your buttons, but each memory verse that you do, you get your name put in for the big drawing at the end of the month. A, six times. A grand prize Think about drawing? That. It's a grand prize. Wow. Everybody wants to do that. Oh, I I'm want so the grand excited. prize. I want the grand prize. I'm going to do it. I want a gold net. I'm in. All right. And not only that, the fun doesn't stop. We have fun every day at the Centerpoint Kids Facebook page. All you got to do, if you're not a member yet, is just simply search us on Facebook, Centerpoint Kids, and ask for entry, and we'll let you in. And join us for the fun. Hey, guys. Super fun today. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Wednesday for Centerpoint Kids. Absolutely. Good? We're going to be there. See ya. Love you, guys.